Where the deuce have you been? Was Mrs. Joe's Christmas salutation when I and my conscience showed ourselves. We want to have a superb little dinner in our humble little kitchen. And Mr. Watts will be the charge to dine with us. And Mr. Hubble the wheelwright. And Mrs. Hubble. And Uncle Pumblechook. Who was a well-to-do corn chandler in the nearest town and drove his own chaise car over everyone. Mr. Watson had a deep voice, which he was uncommonly proud of. Now, I remember Mrs. Hubble as a little sharp-edged person in sky blue. And I remember Mr. Hubble as a tough, high-shouldered, stooping old man with his legs extraordinarily wide apart. So that I always saw some miles of open country between them. <laughs> Mrs. Joe, I have brought you, as compliments of the season, Mum, a bottle of sherry wine. And I have brought you, Mum, a bottle of port wine. Oh, Uncle Pumblechook, this is kind. It's no more than your merit. Aye, aye, and how sixpenneth of hate And he too rumpled my hair. Among this good company, I was squeezed in at an acute angle, a table in my chest, and that Pumblechookian elbow in my arm. I should not have minded that if they only would have left me alone. But they wouldn't leave me alone. For what we are about to receive, may the Lord make us truly grateful. You hear that? Be grateful. Be grateful. Grateful. Especially, boy, be grateful unto them which brought you up by hand. Why is it the young are never grateful? The young are never grateful. Never grateful. Now, he wishes. True. True. Joe always aided and comforted me when he could, and he always did so at dinner time by giving me gravy, if there were any. At this particular point, Joe spooned into my plate about half a gallon. A little later on in the dinner, Mr. Wops reviewed that sermon with some severity. The subject of today's homily was ill-chosen, which is the less excusable, for there are really so many subjects that going about. True, sir. Look at pork alone. There's a subject. If you want a subject, look at pork. True, sir. Many immoral for the young in pork. You're getting the names. Listen to this. Joe gave me some more grace. Swine! Swine! Swine were the companions of the prodigal. The gluttony of swine is put before us as an example to the young. What is detestable in a pig is more detestable than a boy. Pig! Swine! Boy! Joe offered me more gravy. Which I was afraid to take. <laughs> Have a little brandy, uncle. Oh, heavens, it had come at last. He would find it was diluted. The wretched man trifled with his glass, took it up, smiled, threw his head back, and... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Drank the brandy off. I didn't know how, but I had no doubt I had murdered him. Murder! Oh! 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 What is it? Tar! I had filled up that bottle with tar water from the night before. <laughs> I knew he would be worse by and by. Oh, Tar, why however could Tar come there? We're so sorry. You, Joe Gardery, clean plates, cold. I foresaw what was coming. The you must taste a delicious present of Uncle Pumblechooks. A savoury pork pie. A savoury pork pie? It's a round to my life. Here we are, look, sharp, come on. <laughs> 